Hi guys, today I am going to be doing an IBS Paint X painting tutorial. So, I already started it. Let me undo everything that I did. Sorry. I'm going to be using this girl here. So, as you can see, um, all you have to do is go... Hold on. You go to... You go to um, this plus over here, then you press import picture, then you pick the picture you want to import. So how about we do <laughs> this one, as we are, I was already going to do. So you can pick if you want an original or recommend it. I'm going to be doing the recommended size. And then you just want to press the check mark and then you just have to take two fingers and tap it and it comes back into the color and so then you can get started so what you want to do is go to this little paintbrush and then you want to press eraser and start to erase the things that you don't want you can make it as however big as you want and then this like fades it if I want. so let's say I want to paint And this makes it that light. It's like changing how light and dark it is. But as we were doing, erasing everything we don't want. So you just want to keep on erasing. Until everything you do not want is gone. Or if you want to make it, or if you don't want, if you want to waste a bunch of time doing that, you can always, um, um, press fingers undo. You can also undo by taking two fingers and tapping where you want to undo. Oop, and do that. And, um, or you can go to, so click that little symbol, the eraser, go to smudge, and then you just, you can pick however big you want it how big you want to smudge and make it look such like a cool thing a cool background if you want so that's probably just all because then you can if you don't want them to like see the words that were on your home screen because that's how mine screenshots you can make it just like cool and blurry and blend in kind of just blend that in You might have to blend into your person's hair or whatever your drawing's hair. And make the smudge a little bigger so this can go quicker. And now you got your cool looking background. And down here you can smudge it too if you want. We'll just erase this part. Since it's not a lot, I'm just going to smudge it. Sorry about my picture flipping so much. Okay. There you go. Oop. We unsmudged. So, yeah. Okay, now it looks awesome and super cool. super cool guys okay so now you're going to go back to your brush and then here you can just pick however big you want it so i'm just going to keep it how it is and then we are going to start to trace so you want to have it on black to trace make sure that's all the way up if you want to make it so you can tell so we're going to start by tracing her shirt so you want it s not super small so not that small but you, you don't want it too big so like right here uh, it's probably good for some of it. Then you can go smaller and then bigger and then trace like that. Okay, so 
we did that all, and now let's go here and trace these lines on the sleeve. My tracing job is still a little messy, so sorry for that. So this is what it's coming out as so far. And then just continue to trace it. Sorry. Tracing. Okay, and then we're going to trace the little kitty face. Because we're going to definitely be keeping that because it's adorable. And you can um, trace the facial features if you want to that are on the cap, but I'm not going to be doing that. And now we're almost done. We just gotta go in like that and do that part. And then I think, yes, we are all done. And so that's your tr tracing job. You can trace anything else that you want to. I'm just gonna trace this, the eye outline. There we go. And do it with the other eye. Okay. And then I'm going to go touch the paintbrush and press smudge and not have it that big. Make it tiny and smudge the eye fringe ring. Oh yeah, just much that one to get. So this is what it looks like after smudging, and that's what it looks like before. Not a huge difference, but you can definitely tell a difference how it became lighter. Okay. So now those are your eyes, and so now I'm just gonna go back to bright brush. Keep it the same size, maybe make it a little bigger, and then change the color to purple because I want to have her have purple ends, purple ends of her hair. So I'm just going to be coloring in the ends of her hair. Oh, I don't like how I came out. So I'm just going to go like this. And do all the ends that I want. Okay. 
Okay. So those are all the ends. I'm not going to do these ends up here only because I don't want it to look like that. And so then I'm going to press my smut. Actually, no. I'm going to do my blur. Let's see if that's what I want. Yes, I want to blur it. So you want to make sure your blur is not too big and then blur it and then smudge it. Blurring it. Or you can just blur it if you don't want to smudge it after. Okay, now we're going to smudge it. Turn that. Okay, and now that's how it looked. I loved how that came out. And so now we're going to go back to regular brush. And then, what I want to do... Hmm. <laughs> I am going to actually be making it... Hmm. I don't know what else I want to do to it. I'm going to add a headband. And I'm going to make it a nice aqua headband to like match her hair okay i'm like oh i'm gonna make it big Ooh, a little too big perfect go like that and then i'm gonna add some pink polka dots on it and to, for that you can press um eyedropper Oop, make it a little bit pink mm, it's big i want it small and then you can pick how big you want it to be and then just tap Okay. So yeah, you just yeah. Yep. Hold on, guys. I'll be right back. Um, huh? So, yeah. So, you just kind of continue with the dropping. Ah! Okay. Almost at the end. 
And there you go. She got a headband. <laughs> and then there you go. There is your new edit it person. See you guys on the next tutorial. On the next video.